Since Friday evening, Belize City has been a virtual battleground with a number of shooting incidents. By Monday morning, three persons had been murdered and at least two others injured and receiving treatment at the KHMH. The first murder happened early on Saturday morning and claimed the life of 22-year-old Fisha Felix, who was killed as she lay sleeping in her bed. Initial investigations revealed that at approximately 2.40 a.m., her brother, who was inside the house sleeping, was awakened by the sounds of apparent gunshot. He got up, reportedly called for his sister, but received no response. He then made checks inside her bedroom, where she was seen lying motionless on her bed. Police have since recovered 10 9mm shells from the street in front of the house. Two slugs were also retrieved from the inside the house and the body of Fischia Felix was transported to Karkushna Memorial Hospital, where it was pronounced dead on arrival at approximately 3.57. Felix's Gill Street house is today locked up as police over the weekend detained her brothers reportedly in an effort to prevent any kind of retaliation. Twelve hours after the Felix homicide, 27-year-old Marvin Foreman lost his life when he came under a hail of bullets as he stood buying from a neighborhood shop on Central American Boulevard. Initial investigations revealed that Foreman was in front of a shop on Central American Boulevard when he was approached by two dark-skinned males on separate bicycles, one of whom fired several shots at him, causing his injuries. He was transported to the Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital, where he succumbed to his injuries at approximately 4.10 p.m. Police have recovered 13 9mm shells, expended shells, and three slugs from the scene as the investigation continues. Foreman's mother, Geraldine Usher, today told the Love News off-camera that she heard the gunshots that took her son's life but did not believe it was him that was killed. We heard a four shot, and when we heard a four shot, after I was like eight more shots after that, I tell him, I might be like, John, that song like gone. He said, no, my dad, a pop shot. So we never bother and think because we say, you know, I say, well, me, no, no, you don't know the difference between it now. So I tell my lady, I say, run, go see. So my, my young lady called, she, she come out and say, man, I heck are blinds, are blinds. So I tell the John, I say, no, man, it can't be blinds. Usher's younger son went to investigate and came back with the bad news. So the brother run out, the next brother run out and pick up and put her in our vehicle and carry her. When I get to the hospital now, he said, I want me, ma. I want me, ma. He said, I want to see me, ma. You know, please make her see me, ma, nurse. Doctor, then tell her, he can't see me, ma, because he, then he tend to her. When he don't finish, he can't tend to her. Then he came on the theater. When I stand up and I look, the three doctors could come out three and then they put, tell me, go sit down. I tell her, I don't want to sit down. I tell her, I don't want to sit down. So I ask her, why I don't want to sit down? I tell her, because I don't figure more or less than what. So I tell me, I say, Marvin passed up on the table because the blood gone too low. Now the death of Marvin Foreman has left the family wondering who would have wanted him dead because they claim he was not involved in any criminal activities. Marvin is a nice person. Anybody come to Marvin, they're hungry, they feed them, they clothe, they feed them. I say, if you don't got no way, if you stay at night, I tell you, take them in the house. And I get to understand how you won't find the killer. The killing spree continued on Saturday night when Marlon Harris was gunned down inside of his car at mile 2 on the George Price Highway. Police also observed five apparent bullet holes on the driver's side of the vehicle and on the driver's seat. They saw 33-year-old Marlon Danny Harris of a Lionel Street address in Belize City with gunshot wounds to the abdomen. Initial investigations revealed that at approximately 8.20 p.m. on the same day, several gunshots were heard in the area and the car was later found with Harris inside. The body was transported to the Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital where it was pronounced dead on arrival as police continued their investigation. The investigations of these murders and other shooting incidents are keeping the police busy. Head of CIB Alden Dawson says that information is slowly starting to emerge. What we have so far, we believe that they stem from some misunderstanding with the brother and some other person earlier um, prior to the shooting, where they were engaged in some misunderstanding and somebody caused injury to somebody. We believe it might be the same person who went back to the house and just opened fire in the house 
not necessarily with intent to kill the young lady, but she was inside and the shot did, the bullet did penetrate the wilds, causing the death of this young lady. In the case of the Felix murder, police say they have one person in custody who they are questioning. In the case of the Harris killing, authorities admit that there is nothing tangible as yet as there are no leads in this investigation. Head of Eastern Division and newly promoted Deputy Commissioner of Police Elodio Aragon Jr. says the public's assistance in solving the crimes is crucial. In regards to the, the three murders that we had over the weekend, uh, the, the persons who were, vile, uh, were murdered are people known to the police. Well, especially well, when it comes to, to, to Marvin Foreman, I think his alias is Lippo, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Harris, uh, Harris. Right, Harris, sorry. Uh, uh, his, his alias is Lepo, he's known to the police. I think um, the incident, the unfortunate incident with the, with the young girl, Felix, <coughs> well, she was not involved in any um, kind of, um, um, had any involvement with the law, but her brothers do have, um, have been known to be involved in, in crime, etc. No? Especially, well, they are known to the police. Uh, then the other shooting incident, again, that is, we believe is, there a, is a connection with the first murder, no? So, in effect, we are investigating all these cases because definitely we want to bring closure to these cases, especially uh, looking at where we can bring people to justice in regards to these shootings. In the wake of the weekend violence, Aragon says that the police department has uh, tweaked their operational strategy. Well, operationally, we've, we, we will be having, and this has already been taking place, we have support from our the anti drugs unit coming into the city to assist us more on on the streets of Belize City, especially those areas that we have identified as problematic areas. We also have the special patrol unit who are sending personnel to assist us in the city. Furthermore, as the dynamics of the police department goes, especially operationally, we must always assess ourselves to see where we are, how are we performing, where we need to, to, to improve upon. We must remain flexible in how we do operations. Reporting for Love News, I am Patrick Jones.